Maintenance and repair of the Epsilon adapter. You first remove the handle nut and handle and then you carefully remove the detent ball. Next you remove the stem bearing which will allow you to completely remove the stem. Now you can remove the adapter body by removing the four Allen screws. Then you remove the wave spring and the wave spring washer and the ball retainer seal. And then you can remove the ball. Then carefully remove the conductivity spring. You remove the face seal and then the ball seal. Then you can replace the new ball seal. The stem seal sometimes does not remove completely when you remove the stem so you may need to pop that out to replace the new stem seal. You now replace the stem seal and the stem bearing. Insert the stem bearing and now you can thread the stem and stem bearing back onto the body. You must align the flat part of the stem with the interlock pin. You now reinsert the stem and thread it down into the body. Now replace the conductivity spring on the ball. The concave side of the ball must be facing the ball seal. You now replace the flange seal. Now you can replace the ball retainer seal. Replace the wave spring washer with the rounded side facing the ball retainer seal. And then replace your wave spring onto the wave washer. You can now replace the adapter to the adapter body. Securely tighten the Allen screws. Carefully replace the detent ball. Replace your hub. Now you can slide the handle over the stem and replace your handle nut. Securely tighten the handle nut. You will need a pick to remove the spring energized transfer seal. This transfer seal actually has a spring molded into the seal so it's slightly difficult to remove. Once you remove it you can insert the new seal with the spring facing down onto the adapter. Insert the seal, couple the coupler to the adapter and slightly turning it a couple of times the spring energized transfer seal will fit tightly and securely into the adapter.